Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Greta and we're here to talk about perfume and other luxury items. If you're new to my channel and that's something that appeals to you, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell, you know the drill. In any case, today I finally received the rest of my Raja order uh, from the Raja Dove Eau de Parfumerie when they had a sale, yes. I really took advantage of it. I had a bunch on my list that I had the travel size of. I knew I wanted the full size. Some of them were blind, a couple of them. Um, and yeah, it was a lot. I admitted it was a lot. Um, I actually had them call me from see, Homeland Security, I think, that I actually had to register. Uh, I had to fill out the application to register as an official importer. Yes, no joke. That is the truth. Uh, that was actually the first time that's ever happened to me. Didn't really want to do it. I hate registering for stuff like that. I asked him for the what my options were, and that was pretty much my option. He repeated the same thing twice. So I'm like, I guess I'm registering as an importer. So yes, and then I could receive the delivery from FedEx. I kind of held it up at uh, Border and Customs until I filled out that application. But in any case, let's go through what I got. I will do an individual review on these. I'm not gonna go through them because there's a bunch. Um, I did get two reviews up and I'll just kind of feed the queue with them. I'm not gonna do like 20 Raja Dove videos straight to you, but I will try to get them up in a very timely fashion because I think they, I'm sure they'll do some kind of sale again before like this was summer or like in the summer. So I know they're gonna do another one. So I want to get some reviews up because a lot of these have no reviews up and even like Fragrantica, like there was just no information for me and it's not like you can get your nose on these just anywhere. So let's get to it. First one, I'm gonna bum this one, got a little dirty here. But the other cool thing is Raja signed these along with, this one might be backwards, yeah, along with the bottles. He signed them all for me, which is really super cool. And there's more. Um, Raja Dove also, his team sent me a message. They emailed me this very kindly. So I will put that clip in here. Hello, Greta Beth. I'm Roger Dove. I just wanted to say hello and to thank you for all the support you've given for my work. I popped into Harrods today and I've signed all the pieces the boys got together for you. I hope you love each of them. So as you can imagine, I'm extremely flattered because Roger Dove's a very busy man and he took that time out to send, to create a video message for me, which was super cool. Okay, so the dogs know how excited I am about this and they're like running off of my energy and now they're all amped up. As after, of course, the slaughtering the box this came in, they're still all amped up. So I'm gonna try not to pause too much. It's been a long day. I also, for Mother's Day, bought my mom some new eyebrows. Put a little picture up there. So she's super excited, but it's been a long day with work and that and this, but I'm gonna get this up for you. So the first one I got was the Eau de Parfum in for Danger. I do have the Essence version of all of them, but uh, Risqué, Creation R, is the only one I really didn't get in any versions. But I will do a collection when I, I'll do my entire collection and you'll see everything I have. But um, I just wanted the Parfum version, especially since they had the sale going. I really do like this one, just like the others, and it's kind of what mood I'm in. But also having him sign it just meant a lot to me for my collection. So we got Danger, which you guys have seen a ton of reviews on. You don't need that. It's the same as the Essence, only Parfum version. It doesn't evaporate as fast, so you don't get that oomph in the first 30 minutes like you do in the Essence, and it lasts a lot longer, so it's more of like a steady state versus this huge throw and then this die down with the essence but it's the same fragrance he did not change it like he did in the men's uh cologne version essence to cologne i think it is so the next one i got is diaglev 
Now I have a travel size of this one, so I am familiar with it. So I did jump on that to have him sign this as well. You can see they all come in these amazing boxes with the satin lining with the foam underneath that keeps it nice and tight in there. Uh, Diaghilev is also 100 ml on this one. This one is the one probably in my collection that runs the most a little bit leaning masculine that um, it's the one I have to be picky about when I wear this and I'll tell you it's I've gotten different journeys on it. I've gotten different results with it. It kind of seems to just roll differently in different days on me. So I want to try this again before I do a review on it. I just have gotten different experiences. So I want to get some consistency there. The next one, let's move some of this over. I already did a review on, and that is the Pierre de Valet Rare, uh, Essence Rare. I really love this one. This one's really good. This was the only full bottle I bought from this collection because they were completely blind buys. And I just, I only took the risk on this one because the notes seemed really safe for me and it was a good call. I did, however, order a bunch of the samples so that at the next sale, I know what I may like. And I will go over which samples I got so you know which ones you can expect me to review. This one is, ah, the Raja Dove Haute Parfumerie 15 year anniversary. I'm really excited for this one too. I did get to wear this. Uh, if you're familiar with Zerja, they have from the Torino Boutique, they have the exclusive from their Torino. I got that same like sticky, sappy, resinous, balsamic kind of vibe that's in Torino. I got in here, which I like it. Don't get me wrong, I really like this one. But I got that same vibe that I can't put my fingers on and I don't know how to identify what that note is, but I know they have it in common. And I also know that I can't, I, I'm gonna have to email Manuela because for the notes in Torino so that I can figure out what that common note is, that I can explain it better to you. But I've noticed that nobody else has talked about that one and it's a really prominent note in there. But in any case, I also, as a bonus from them, this is normal when you order a certain level of um, perfumes. Standard, when you order a certain level, price level with them, they threw in um, the travel size. I actually, yeah, here it is. I actually received two of them. So heads up, that will probably, wink, wink, end up as one of the giveaways because I have a full bottle and two travels. So that will likely end up as a giveaway for you guys, because I like you, but only the subscribe subscribers. So make sure you subscribe. This one got a little dirty too. It's not a big deal. I really care about the bottle, but Enigma Oud. Woo! I'm excited to get this one. Haven't worn it. Just put your back. And this is the 100 ml. I do love these Swarovski crystal gemmed tops. Really kind of cool. I think, um, no, this one was colored. Yeah, the Oat Perfumery. This one is purple, Raja's favorite color. So the label's purple and the gems are purple. So this one has the diamond colored gems. Oof, this one I finally get to try. This one was blind, but I knew it was very popular. I sprayed the cap. Wow. This one is a statement. Whew, this one's strong. I definitely get that ambery, strong amber fragrance. Wow, really strong, but I have not worn this yet. I only sprayed inside the cap here, but I'm excited to try this one. This is, yeah, statement piece for sure. So. Then we have <gasps> Britannia. Really, oh, I got to try this for a little bit. This is in the 100 ml and again, everything is signed. This one has the blue gemstones, comes in the blue box. This one's really nice. Ooh, I really like this one. 
I really like this one. It goes powdery. This is your Raja Dove Powdery Fragrance Feminine. Oh yeah, this is actually, look at that. Look at those gemstones. They're actually, actually like duochrome blue and red, which makes it look purple. I just think that is really cool. So, Britannia, and we, again, we will go over these. I will review them for sake of keeping this short and just letting you what I have and what I will be reviewing. I'm just gonna go over what I got. And then we got Nuwa. This is, uh, oh my goodness, I'm gonna forget this, the story with the Chinese, the Chinese shop. When I review this, I'll tell you the story behind the name of it, the Chinese girl. And this one has the red gemstones. I love this one. It's very, very luxurious feeling. It really gives that uh, cashmere, iris, fuzzy feeling like heliotrope around you, like it, yet so luxurious smelling, yet gives that amazing blanket around you. I'm not gonna say it's the hugest projector because that's really not even Raja's thing, projecting. He wants somebody to come into your space to have to get closer to smell you. Because if you think about it, if somebody is all snuggled up against you, they really don't want a beast. The same fragrance that you can wear in a big room with lots of space is not the one somebody wants to snuggle up to. So he tends to make fragrances that somebody has to get a little closer to smell you. That's his thing. So, new up. I love this one. Again, I had it in the travel size. I knew all about it. I wanted the full size for sure. I know there's still more. The Harrods exclusive Pour Femme. Now I have seen reviews for the Pour Homme, but I've seen nothing. And again, signed. I've seen nothing for the Pour Femme, like nothing. I, I couldn't believe it. And this one comes with a beautiful Harrods green. This one comes in 50 ml. This one I'm wearing today. And you know, this one does project. This one, I walked into the room um, where I said I bought my mom some new eyebrows to get her microblading done. And I got a big resounding, wow, you smell really good. You always smell so good. What are you wearing today? So this, um, whew, this one does smell so good. This is almost like, to me, it's like Raja, you know, I love my Chanel number no. five, but it has that glamorous Chanel kind of feel and a cosmetic -y vibe where you get that cosmetics counter in there, where you get that um, violet in a cosmetic way. It's so elegant, but again, I will do true reviews on these, but yeah, I like this. If you like really feminine fragrances in that glamorous, um, the woman that's really done up. I mean, honestly, this fragrance is probably too much for as casual as I am today, but again, I needed to try it. So this one is when you are dressed to the nines, this is the one that makes you look polished. It's just finishing touch like that finished red lipstick. Oh man, yeah, very good. This pile is getting pretty big here. Six, seven, eight. Yes, I bought nine. Nine. Herod's. The exclusive. So I got the H Porfem and I got the Harrods Porfem. I had no idea what the difference was. I do have this one in travel size, right? Yeah, this one I did have travel size that I own upstairs and then the H I wasn't familiar with, but again, the notes struck me as along that same vein that I like, and they're pour femme, and usually when it's pour femme, I know it's safe for me. Some of his unisex ones are the ones I don't know how are gonna go on my skin. But again, no reviews for these. So this one comes in 100 ml, and is again with that green cap, and this again gives you that glamorous cosmetic counter kind of vibe. Okay, so now let me tell you the samples that I got because I'm the savvy shopper. You got one of these with each order of a certain value. You either got to pick five of his semi-bespoke 
or five of the Pierre de Valet, depending on the value of your order. Of course, of course, I broke up the orders so that I got to pick even more samples because I wanted to try them all. So let me tell you, um, I already reviewed the Essence Rare in number four. And then let's see here, we also have Amour. I'm looking forward to that, I wore that one. And then Essence Rare, number 23, Sorry, number 11, number 16, number 23, number 14. All right, so 149, 11, 16, 23, 56. And then I have all three of the ones that are in words. There's Amour, there's Rare Essence, and there is, I'm going to screw this up, Les Clochettes du Bonheur Parfum. French, I said, is my Achilles heel. It's the one language I can't, yeah. So that's all of the Pierre. I tried to find the ones that I thought might be more feminine leaning. I wasn't necessarily right on all of them, but that's semi bespoke. I chose okay, number one, number four, number 21, 24, and 25. Here we have number nine. So one, four, nine, 23, 24, 25, it seems like, and 21. 1, 4, 21, 24, 25, 21. Yeah, so those are pretty much the numbers that I got from the semi-bespoke. So I, I do have more than, you know, just a sample of it because I thought I might like them and then I'd have some samples to run with. Um, so yeah, so I have that. And that was the reason I wanted to wait for my order to figure out, like, I didn't know exactly what was gonna be thrown in there. Like, I didn't know I was gonna get two of these. And then I could look at my collection, see what I liked, see what I wanted to share, and, you know, make some more educated guesses on how I wanted to do this giveaway for my thousand subscribers, which is imminently coming up. In any case, um, Yes, keep a lookout. You will see me review all of these, and it's a lot, nine bottles. I only did one so far, um, and a bunch of those samples. Like, that's like 15 of the samples, too, or more. So, yeah, there'll be a bunch of these rolling out in the queue. I will alternate them with the other regular videos so that it's not all Raja Dove every day by Greta Beth. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a good weekend and or week. I don't know when this is going up, but I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.